Hey, welcome to Vibrant Life episode 32. I'm Jessica Parker. I'm a holistic health coach with a master's in health psychology and a fitness instructor. So today, I think it's gonna be a little quick, we'll see, but I want to talk about rising above the darkness because there's a lot of it right now. And I'm just gonna be frank, I believe that what is going on in the world is a spiritual battle. And I wanna just talk about how to stay above that in terms of not get sucked into the distractions, not get sucked into the darkness, not get sucked into the negative and get pulled into basically fighting with other people and um, things that are, are gonna keep us away from where really God wants us. I think that it's really important that we are strong, that we stand in truth, that we, that we don't ignore reality. But on the other hand, it's important that we don't get so cozy with the darkness and the negativity. So there are a lot of like rabbit holes people can go down and, you know, people call each other conspiracy theorists and I would really love to like toss that whole thing out the window. Because um, for one, a lot of that stuff is uh, true, coming true, you know? Um, but it's also just, let's stop calling each other names and blaming everything on everybody else. But, you know, when it comes down, down to it, like you can pick a number of different topics these days um, that we probably never thought we'd be talking about or facing. And we really do need to understand the reality of what's going on. We need to stand in what is truth and, and not just allow ourselves to follow along with what's going on because we're afraid of offending somebody or we're afraid of losing friends or we're afraid of losing followers or whatnot. Um, Cause that gets us in a very precarious position and then we wonder how we got there, right? So it is definitely time to stand up. It's important to also, I've said this before, and again, I come at all of this from a spiritual perspective. I use the phrase, raise your vibration. And I mean that from a godly perspective and vibration and science and all of that. God created that. God created energy and all of it. And, and we can feel it from a very human perspective. You know, people get depressed and their moods go like just low. And it's, it's something that I'm encouraging everybody to just bring yourself up. Don't and I know it's easy and I know there, you know, there's so much that's like, oh my gosh, but it's so much, but that's what, that's what they want. That's what the people who just want everybody to be against each other and to live in fear, that's what they want. And so I'm encouraging you to rise above that, to stay above the chaos and to be light be light, but be strength. And that is what Christ is. You know, there are times when it's time to just flip tables. I believe that time is now, and it has been for a while. And at this moment, I believe it's very much so that time in a different way than it was, let's say six months ago or so. So nobody is going to, you know, just come and do that for us. It's important that we do that. And I know a lot of people and I'm saying this in love, but I know a lot of people who just don't want to go against the grain, that are afraid to, um, sometimes I think it's afraid to offend people, but really I think it's because they're uncomfortable with being different. They're uncomfortable with any kind of negativity being pointed at them. But you guys, like this is real life and all of this stuff is actually happening. And if we just sit by and just let it happen because we're too weak to stand up to it, then we lose. And a lot of people, including our children, lose with us. So um, I, I have this vision of the uh, Grinch and the and Whoville, so the who, what are they, the who people or whatever, I have, I really think a lot about them and how, um, and that might sound so silly, but how, you know, the Grinch stole Christmas or whatever, and they ended up celebrating anyway, and like, that's not what we need, we don't need all the presents and things that he, and our decorations that he 
stole from us. We have each other and we have love and we have light and we're going to create that. We can have those things anyway and we should instead of getting caught up with the drama with you know on the news uh today the white house was it today or yesterday anyway released a statement that was very ominous it was very um dark it was almost like a threat some people say it sounded like a curse it was horrible i'm just gonna be very very real and say that and please don't get distracted by that please claim something different totally refuse that rebuke it and rise above it you know we don't need to give things like that power we don't need to give evil power we don't need to give sickness power we need to rise above all of that and be strong in christ we don't have to feel strong but we have to be strong another thing is that the three-letter agency starting with a c c something c um, they have said, and you can find it online, you can find it on their website, probably, and are, there's, a, you know, studies that fear and stress actually weaken the immune system. So if you ask me, some of this fear is on purpose, you know, truly. And some of the stuff that came out, even like from the White House, um, it's not even, it's not even uh, based on science, research, statistics, facts. So it's just fear mongering. Let's turn that off. Let's encourage others to turn that off and rise above that. It's important that we have boundaries with people. And so again, we're all going to have different perspectives. It's important to have boundaries. So if somebody is going to be toxic with you about all of this stuff and hateful and fear mongering, it's important to have boundaries, but also balance it with love. You have to find that path and you have to find that, you know, healthy spot with whoever it is you're dealing with. And sometimes it takes like really taking a moment and it's fine to take a moment. It's fine. I think, you know, a while ago in my life, a long time ago in my life, I used to just kind of like, okay, I have to, you know, react or respond right now. And you don't have to, you don't have to, it's fine to say, you know what, I'm, I need a minute. So also be good to yourself. It's winter. Um, it is dark outside. It's cold. There's weather that we're dealing with, depending on where you are. And I think it's really important that we focus on mentally, spiritually, physically being good to ourselves. So it is a season of sugar, but you know, that also just leads to feeling like crap. And then our minds and our hearts and our like spiritually, we just like feel like crap and we don't, we don't have the energy and motivation to then stay up here where we need to be. So I'm really encouraging you to take care of yourselves right now. So that was kind of a personal, kind of a, a dive down some things that, you know, people might be uncomfortable with, but we can't ignore it. It's, you know, the things that are going on and I can't even specifically say, well, first of all, cause I'll get probably removed from here, but there are so many different things going on. And so I'm speaking in general. Hi puppy, my big white fluff is back there. Um, so I'm just taking it back to be strong, be loving, but stand in truth. And if you're somebody who has been afraid to say anything and has been afraid to take any kind of strong stance, now is your time. If you're waiting for a sign, here it is. It is time. So um, I'm sending love to everybody. And if you have anything to contribute, then please comment or feel free to message me. And we're going to get through this. I firmly believe that we are going to get through this stronger. I firmly believe that. And I firmly believe that God has told me that firmly. There's nothing in me that doesn't believe that. And I, I firmly believe that God has been showing me that throughout this whole thing. I'm not saying that I don't ever get stressed out or nervous or scared or whatever, but I really firmly believe that. So we need to focus on what God wants us to focus on. And you can find me at thatvibrantlife.com, Facebook, That Vibrant Life, and then Instagram, that underscore vibrant life. Thanks guys. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm
Mama like the party. Listen up, yeah, it's time to start.